Hi and welcome to another instrument choice support video. In this video we will show you how to change the transmitter ID on the Davis Vantage View indoor console and outdoor sensor suite. When changing the ID you must remember to change it on both the outdoor sensor and the indoor console. We will begin by changing the outdoor sensor suite. To check the current ID press and release the button quickly. The device will blink once, then after a short pause it will blink any number of times between 1 and 8. The number of blinks corresponds with the transmitter ID channel. As you can see here, we are on channel 1. This is the default channel. To change, push and hold the transmitter ID button until the LED light begins to flash quickly. This indicates that the device is in setup mode. Release the push button and the LED will go dark. Then push the button a number of times equal to your desired new transmitter ID. We are after channel 4, so we'll press it 4 times. Wait until 4 seconds has elapsed with no further button pressing. The LED will blink the same number of times as the new transmitter ID. The outdoor sensor suite ID has now been changed. If you're unsure, you can now press and release the transmitter ID button. The same will occur. A light will blink, then the new transmitter ID will flash. To change the indoor console, you will need to enter setup mode. Press the second button, then setup. Press the done button a number of times until you land on the STA number view ISS screen. Press the plus or minus button to turn the reception of signals on or off and then press the left or right arrows to move between transmitter IDs. So here we will turn off STA1 view ISS and turn on STA4 view ISS to match our outdoor sensor suite transmitter ID. Once the ID you wish to use is on and the other IDs are off, return to the main screen by pressing and holding done. Give the outdoor sensor suite some time to sync up with the indoor console. And that's how you change the transmitter ID on the Davis Vantage View. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.